Okay, so let's talk about market segmentation and what that basically is. So if we have a we have a total market, let's say you're going after a total marketplace. That's great. Let's say you want to go after a million people, male and female. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with saying I want to go after a million people. But the question you have to ask yourself is, do those million people like the same like the same thing? Right? Come on. So if you if you understand that, do those million people like the same thing, you have to start to segment them out. You have to sort of filter that down a little bit to make sense on what you know what they like and what they don't like. Right. That's what that's what segmentation is all about. OK. So how would you how would you segment the market? The first thing you want to do is understand what their likes and dislikes are. For instance, we're 50 people in the room that like business. But now we all like business. But do we like. You know, a restaurant business, do we like uh, e-commerce business? So can I separate the group into those types of segmentations? Then inside the restaurant business, you might have people who like fast food and people who like fine dining, right? We drill that down a little bit further. So we could sort of drill down the segmentation and refine that and make that uh, a smaller market because that's important. You don't want to have a big market where you're, you're going after everybody, okay? The... It's very, very few people have the budget to go after everybody. So if you target and you focus in on what you're trying to achieve and you niche that market out, you'll be more successful in what you're trying to do. So segmentation really represents a group that's uh, categorized as likes. Everyone likes something similar. Okay. So that's really what segmentation is. And that's how you define it down. Make sense? Any questions on that? All right. So what's the process of uh, evaluating segmentation? You have to look for, it could be a country, a region, a group of people that all have potential to respond. They have to have potential to want to be your marketplace. And then you have to focus on those segments that can be reached effectively. That's going to be key. How can we effectively reach the marketplace if they make sense? So then, the most important thing to think about when you look at segmentation is what we call positioning. So positioning, to think of positioning, it's not where you put your product or service. It's really where the consumer sees you in their mind. So that's positioning, where the consumer sees you in their mind, what they think of you in their head. For example, if I say to you, Mercedes-Benz, what type of product or service is that? What do you think about when I say Mercedes Benz? Luxury car. A luxury car, an expensive car, right? That's because they position themselves as a luxury car and a high end car. That's positioning. Now, if I say to you, Hyundai, what type of positioning do they have? And, and right, economic yes. car, an yeah. economic car. Exactly right. They have a different positioning. If I say to you, let's think about restaurants, for, for example. If I say to you, um, Benihana's, what type of positioning do they have? Yes. They, they're a little pricey, right? But they have a certain service where they, they, you know, they cook up the steak in front of you. It's more of an experience. Yes. But if I say to you, Wendy's, right, that's a different type of position. They're yes. fast food. Absolutely. You know what they do. And that's the key thing. You have to position yourself in order for the consumer to know who you are and what you do. Because you could target anything you like, but if you don't understand who you are to the consumer, if you don't explain who you are to the consumer, it's not going to be successful. Positioning is part of that. Now, a key thing to remember is you can't say that you're the best restaurant in the city of Miami, and yet people go there and they, they think it's horrible. You have to deliver the promise that you make every single time. That's important. You have to deliver the promise you make every single time. Otherwise, it, it positioning it doesn't matter because consumers see through all that, right? They know the truth. They know what's going to happen. They know what they expect. And that's what expectation is. How do you position yourself 
uh, to the marketplace, and then that ties into segmentation. Does everybody understand that concept and positioning?